Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a foundation review and it will be on this little cute one here. And this is from the brand La Beauté. I'm sure you guys know it from their wine lip tint and lipstick while they release like a foundation version and this is the wine foundation stick and it does come in three different shades and of course i got the darker shade and this is natural beige and the reason why i bought this was because first the packaging and second i was wondering whether it smells like wine because it does say that it contains wine extract and some kind of grape ingredients as well but let me tell you it doesn't smell like it at all like there is a scent like a floral scent but it's not strong or overwhelming which is good because once you apply you actually don't smell it anymore so i don't think it makes much more difference and as you can see it's actually really really tiny if i obviously it's like this um twisting one at the bottom it's only 7.5 grams so can you see it's actually not much i mean to be fair like when i did apply this it was actually quite like i did actually use a lot of it as well so it's actually quite good so i don't know how long this will last but yeah i would say it will last you about maybe 30 times i would say it's actually not much but yeah i just thought i'll get it anyway i mean the price was actually bearable it was i think 14 usd dollars when i got this but i mean come on packaging wise how cute is it and i mean it is definitely very travel friendly if it goes well on my skin and so this is actually how it looks like after using it for eight hours so in regards of the shade it does really match my skin really really well it wasn't too light or too dark it's actually just perfect which i really like application wise what i did was i actually applied primer on this side of my face on my right side and on my left side i didn't apply primer because i wanted to see which one turned out better and which one didn't and to be fair i can definitely tell you it actually looked nicer without the primer i mean usually i do use a moisturizing primer and the primer i used today was the hamish one so yeah it's just i feel like moisturizing primer with a moisturizing foundation was wasn't really a good match so I might just have to use like a like a no sebum primer less moisture for this particular foundation because the whole point of getting this foundation is also because it's supposed to give you that glow on your face and give you that moisture that you need on your face as well so this is probably great for those who have dry skin but not really for oily skin but probably good for normal skin as well for the application wise it was actually really a easy to apply this on as always for foundation i use a beauty blender so what i did was i just applied the foundation stick on my face on the selected area and then just blend up with the beauty blender surprisingly it was it went off so smoothly it was so easy but as you can see from the video right now you can see i sort of applied the beauty blender in a circular motion to blend the foundation well and i really like how this one is not really a high coverage it's more of a light to medium coverage Courage, but it's actually beautiful so if you have redness like me I would go over this foundation the second time and it doesn't look cakey at all which is amazing but I mean like um, blemishes they don't really cover up as much so I would probably put concealer so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the rating so I'm going to rate it by the longevity by the courage by the moisture and by the price so for the longevity I'm actually gonna give this 4 out of 5 and the reason why I'm giving this 4 out of 5 is because I'm actually really impressed with how long lasting this foundation is and to be honest it doesn't I feel like it didn't budge at all because I have to agree that when I did apply this I can definitely tell you that it didn't it creased quite a bit on my under eye area but it didn't make it worse so for me if I if I'm going to use this again which I will I'll probably set it with powder on my under eye area and on my smell like area as well but everything else like on the non um, primer side you can't see my pores at all and I mean obviously on the priming side you can't see the pores at all but both actually looks really really good and which one is much more oily surprisingly it's the one with the primer the one without the primer actually stays on really well and because i have dry skin it doesn't really show any of my dry patches i do see some of them but it didn't make it worse so yeah and i still like how smooth looking it is it still looks really really nice after eight hours i'm actually really really impressed by this foundation and the longevity 
Now for the moisture, I'm actually going to give this 5 out of 5 because I don't feel any discomfort wearing this foundation. It feels really comfortable on the face. Doesn't feel cakey at all, which is good. And it didn't feel like my skin was drying. So yeah, what else can I say? 5 out of 5, I guess. And for the coverage, I'm going to give this 3 out of 5 because like I said, it is a light to medium coverage depending on your preference. But for me, I'm just going to give it 3 out of 5 because it doesn't cover up your blemishes. Not much on your redness and it does make your um make you crease on your under eye area. So it's not really like the perfect foundation, but it can be fixed with you know setting it with powder and with concealer. So yeah. And for the price, $14, I'm just gonna give this 4 out of 5 because it's actually not too bad. Like the price itself is actually pretty affordable. So yeah, I'm actually really impressed with this foundation. So that's it for the ratings of the foundation. Overall, I have to say this is actually a great foundation for those who have dry skin and want something lightweight but doesn't want a full coverage. I think this foundation is actually really good. And considering that the longevity is actually not too bad i'm actually really impressed with this because to be honest with you you guys can tell before i apply the foundation i do have quite a bit of redness as well and it covered quite a bit like a decent amount of my redness which is actually pretty amazing i just love how lightweight this is which is really great and it feels really nice i have to say that the finish is more like a I guess like it's leaning towards the matte finish but it's not as matte so it's like a velvety matte I guess so it's actually really really comfortable and not drying at all so I hope you guys enjoyed this review and please put down in the comment box below what review you would like to see next because I'll definitely find out more for you guys and I'll see you on my next video bye